dark side, so as well as the bright. I'm gonna love you inside out. I'm gonna love you inside out. Hey you guys, what is up? And welcome back to a brand new video. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I actually curled my hair with a curling wand. I don't know, lately I've just been realizing like I'm on camera a lot. I don't know how to do hair. It's about time that I probably learn. Alright, so today's video is another BuzzFeed food recipes tested and of course we're gonna be doing vegan recipes. I just wanna learn as many vegan recipes as possible so I can keep limiting my animal consumption. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Savannah and I've done like quite a few BuzzFeed recipe food tested videos in the past so I will have those linked down below. Alright, so give this video a thumbs up if you have a thumb and let's get into it. So all of these recipes will be linked down below which will have like the measurements for the ingredients but the first thing I'm doing here is I'm adding some diced tomatoes to a pot. I'm taking some cooked quinoa and adding that to the pot and then I'm gonna be adding in a can of coconut milk. Then we're gonna be adding in some black beans, stirring that all together and now for the spices we're gonna be adding some bay leaves, some garlic powder, some cumin, I believe a little bit of pepper. We're gonna be stirring that together and then we're gonna let that simmer for 20 minutes. So this is actually insanely easy. All right, so here it is and I'm not gonna lie, this bowl is like so insanely hot. I hope that the actual stew isn't though. Like I hope I'll be able to try it right now. But let's give this a go. It's so hot. All right, so that dish is really good. To me, it tastes a lot like this vegan chili that I made a few months ago. I also wish that there was just a little bit more of the coconut flavor. Overall though, definitely a pass. All right, so moving on to pasta because pasta is always fun. I'm just gonna be taking these, um, I can't remember if they're cherry or grilled tomatoes, but I am just cutting those in half. And now I'm just setting the oven to 400 degrees. And now that these tomatoes are in a bowl, I'm just adding some olive oil, some salt, some pepper, just kind of coating them, mixing that all together. And I'm taking a baking sheet with some parchment paper, putting the tomatoes on that, and then I'm putting them in the oven for 20 minutes. Moving on to the sauce, I'm adding some olive oil in a pan. I'm putting in some shallots and some garlic. I'm just gonna let that cook for a couple of minutes. And while that's cooking, I'm just gonna be putting my pasta in. I'm using brown rice pasta. So now to thicken the sauce, I'm just adding in some cornstarch and whisking that to combine. And then now is the crazy part, you guys. We're gonna be adding in some almond milk. So from doing some researching, it seems like almond milk is a base for a lot of sauces with vegan recipes. So I'm just kind of adding, adding the almond milk in slowly, whisking that, adding some pepper. And then in order to thicken it up, I added in some more cornstarch. So as you guys can see here, it's, it's kind of starting to bubble, which really thickens it up, but I'm just adding in some vegan Parmesan, and then also, what is this called? Nutritional yeast, and then I'm whisking that together, and I just kept adding it in, you guys, because that kind of like really creates a cheesy texture. Now that my pasta is done, I'm just gonna combine that with the sauce, and then add my tomatoes, and voila. Is the pasta. So when I was making this dish, I had to be tasting the sauce just to know like what to add and stuff like that because I really didn't want to add all that sauce onto all that pasta and then it just being a waste because I needed more like garlic, salt, pepper. But yeah, this is the first time that I've ever used like cornstarch to make my own sauce, so I'm really excited. I really hope that this turned out just because when you're filming yourself cooking, even if a recipe only takes 30 minutes, it will take you an hour. So let's try this. The tomatoes are super flavorful, which is what I expected. Guys, even if you're not a fan of tomatoes, I highly recommend cooking them this way because they honestly taste amazing. I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes either. Although it does require a lot of olive oil, which I know isn't that healthy. I seriously added a ton of Parmesan and nutritional yeast. It is pretty shocking that there's no dairy products in here or anything like that. I think that if I played around more with the recipe and just like try different things, this has some huge potential because there's kind of like this underlining flavor that's really good. Okay. I'm gonna go eat this now, bye. So now onto the lemon parsley bean salad. We're gonna be combining some things into a bowl. So I'm just gonna be taking a can of chickpeas and then I cut up some celery, red onion, cucumber, parsley, dill, and you can also add some tomatoes. And then also add in some kidney beans, which weren't in the shot here. But I am just mixing that all together. 
And then for the dressing, you are just gonna be combining some olive oil, some lemon juice. And then for a kick, just add in some red pepper flakes and then some garlic to taste. Just whisking this together. I did taste this before putting it over the salad and I felt like it needed some honey mustard so I added that in. And then I'm just mixing the whole thing together. But yeah, I'm actually quite nervous for this one. I really hope that it works out, so let's try this. All right, so overall, I'm not in love with this dish, although I feel like I'm not the type of person to gravitate towards like cold salad type things. Surprisingly, I feel like it needs more flavor. But yeah, so overall, it's definitely not bad. I just think that I'm going to add in some more herbs and spices. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, do not forget to comment down below with whether or not you want me to continue doing these videos, because I definitely will if you guys want to see them. All right, you guys, that is it. That is all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.